Are Bacross streaks real, and can you make money by betting on them? Well, here's some code to simulate a full shoe of Bacra, and here's some code to just show random chance. Essentially, what would happen if there's no card removal or anything like that? We just randomly pick player or banker, sort of like flipping a coin, just with slightly adjusted odds based on player and banker odds. And here's all of the streaks that we got from that actual shoe, and you can see we did get some pretty long streaks, which is promising. But then here's the results from just randomness with these same number of hands, and it feels like we might have some similar streaks. So I think we need to investigate a little bit further. So here's more code with similar simulations. This one, however, measures dependence by checking whether the next result is influenced by the previous result. And we repeat this thousands of times, and we compare the two models using a Monte Carlo test. And here is that result. So the important thing to see here is that the mean dependence metric of the shoe and the independent identically distributed models are essentially the same. So if we saw dependence, which is streaking us beyond that randomness, the shoe number would be significantly higher. We also see that the two-sided p-value is 1.0, which essentially means that the observed difference is completely typical under randomness. So are there streaks? Technically, yes. But these are fully explainable by randomness and thus not something you can gain an edge by betting. 